me and Alex, we are on the second half of this building doing panels, aluminum composite panels. And now, since we have our boom truck here, we have to put caulking in between the joints. So if you take a close look how this caulking looks, those lines have to be really sharp, sharp and nice. So I'm gonna show you how we do it, a couple of tricks. Uh, you have to know that some guys are using uh, painter's tape to tape around, it takes lots of time. I'll show you a way faster way how to do it. And uh, if you look at our panels, we don't have the plastic peel already on this inside of the panel, right? Where the caulking goes, we don't have the plastic peel already. If you make a panel and you didn't peel this part, you are in a little trouble because now you, you, you have to either re remove the whole peel and do the tape, or you have to cut in the right spot, which is really hard on the, uh, to do it on the field. But let me show you how we do it and uh, how to do the caulking to look like this. Please watch this video to the very end. I want to show you how the absolutely perfect job turned into a huge nightmare, just absolute disaster. And I don't want you to make the same mistake how I did. It's very important. You'll thank me later, but uh, please watch this video to the very end. This, this is the sample of the panel that we're using. And since you're using, since we're doing dry system, which is uh, doing caulking on the on the joint seams here. To make your life much much easier, you have to remove this side of the panel. You have to remove the uh, plastic peel before you put it on the wall. So how to do it? You, you see this panel? It's already it's already done. There is no plastic peel. So you just keep the plastic peel on the front. See how I'm pulling this peel off? You have to keep this on, right? This peel has to be on. So in order to show you how to do it, I have to show you how Alex does it because he's a professional, done it for 65 years. <laughs> and we have sample pieces here. He's gonna do it. Okay, Alex, show us. See how he does with his knife? You. You slightly push against the the panel, yeah, and then you just remove. Yeah. Panel is sold. That's, yeah, see how it does. It's great. Try it on that piece on the. Here we go. Here we go. That's how it's done. Keep this on and sides off. It will make your life way, way easier when you're doing caulking uh, on a wall. I'm gonna show you how I do it. We're using this peel, peel and stick material as a tape, so we don't have to tape it. And as you can see, we already peeled the interior inside of the caulking, uh, inside of the channel is already peeled. So in this case, we have a, a, not a very wide gap, so we don't put back a rod. Back a rod, I'll show here. 
See, if you have a big gap, you have to use a becker rod like this, so you don't use too much caulking, too much silicone. I have to go almost even with caulk with a with a channel. going you're filling this gap with caulking as even as possible with, with the surface now we're taking our spatula I'm using this one because it have a 5 8 round and so it actually works for me some guys are using uh, normal spatulas like this like this right like you use a normal uh, spatula for for caulking so you just have to get rid of the excess and push the caulking inside like this going one more time take a close look Alex that's it I'm using this as my wiping material now I'm just peeling off See how it's feeling? It gives me a good edge. Like this. There you go. Now it's a nice bit. I if that looks good, you don't have to touch it, but I'm doing one more step. I'm taking soapy water. You can see this edge has a little bit of, of like, uh, of not a exactly uh, like a smooth line. In most cases, that's even good, but I'm taking my magic finger. And I'm going to smooth it up only, only a little bit. That's pretty much it. And this is the final product. We finished that wall. So it's sealed. the video and uh, check out my other videos about uh, aluminum composite panel how we make it and how we install it thank you well half a day later after I uh, shoot that video that I showed you earlier I was working on my black sheet metal panels and I looked at the wall that I did and it I, I, I was I was ready to, to cry I was ready to cry the thing is guys never never do caulking on the panels when you know it's going to be a hot day let me show you what my beautiful caulking job turned into always keep in mind when the dark aluminum panels they expand and they expand in a hot day really dramatically well not like one eighth of an inch which is enough to screw up the caulking so if you have dark panels don't do the caulking if you know it's going to be a hot day uh, i'll wait for the uh day uh, i'll wait for the cloudy day or something but uh, look what happened to my caulking it just it 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 created a, a curve on the out like outside curve not the inside curve like i wanted and uh, it happened on every dark panel on the building 
uh, white panels are actually good they didn't do uh, they didn't move too much they actually uh, cold if you touch them but if you touch the dark panel it's so hot you can actually fry an egg on it the, the builder said that it might go back uh, if uh, during the night time when it get cooler but I doubt because uh, uh, in a hot day caulking dries really fast and uh, uh, and unfortunately it's probably gonna dry like that now I'm gonna have to fix it uh, I have to wait until it dries completely and then uh, I'll, I'll think of the way how to fix it uh, I hope you're gonna learn this mistake that I, I learned the hard way.